All right, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Wednesday, about 8.28 a.m. here, California time, August 28th, 2024. There's a whole lot of us, uh, 28s in there, goodness. All right, Southern California is shaking out here a little bit this morning. Uh, also getting a big-time earthquake swarm out here across the area of Nevada, indicating some uh, quite highly strained pressurization going on here across the West Coast today. Let's go ahead and check out this earthquake that struck down here in Southern California this morning. Early this morning, just when people are getting up, uh, getting ready to go to work, go to school, maybe get the kids up. 3.3 uh, earthquake. Not a big earthquake, but an overall sign of some increasing movement out here, along with the other quakes out here today. Uh, this earthquake str uh, striking in about nine miles below the surface here at the San Jacinto Fault Zone. That is a branch that extends here. Uh, off of the San Andreas Fault, runs into it here, a little interchange along with numerous other faults. Uh, this earthquake was felt over the area uh, in Southern California. Again, not a big earthquake and not uh, on a, a large shaking region here in terms of the intensity, but it was an earthquake nonetheless and an overall sign here, as I mentioned, of some uh, increasing pressure going on here across the California area. Uh, if we look at the microquake area uh, activity as well, you can see a little clustering going in uh, following that uh, earthquake activity this morning. A couple smaller quakes in the one magnitude and just below that. Also some elevated microquake activity here further south along the ha uh, San Jacinto Fault Zone. And also over here across the Brawley Seismic Zone where we've seen a pair of earthquakes yesterday coming in. A couple smaller earthquakes there in that area. Uh, so we'll watch this. Definitely keep an eye on it with elevated activity around California recently. It's good to be on guard. Uh, also up here across the Bakersfield region where they seen that 5.2 a couple weeks back. That uh, area seeing some uh, twos this morning it looks like. And some other smaller quakes. The Garlock Fault Shear Zone here showing a 2.0 from early this morning as well. So a lot of this is some newer activity. Uh, even one right on the interchange here between the plate boundary and this shear zone where I feel that uh, well, everything could get going here. We've seen a 1.1 about 5 o'clock this morning. In fact, it uh, looks like, let's see, that was at 5.25 in the morning and uh, this other earthquake here, the larger one, uh, striking at about uh, 5.43. So about 20 minutes later, we've seen that 3.3 coming in. Overall, a seismic increase in the Southern California area and West Coast in general, where we have some movement up north as well. But look at this swarm in Nevada. Goodness, got uh, a decent linear fashion going on here for earthquake activity, uh, specifically across this range here of Goldfield, Nevada. Now, this is south of Tonopah. This is the area, uh, if we go back here the last seven days or so, uh, this is one of the areas out here across Nevada that have seen uh, increasing earthquake activity out here. And there's uh, there's been a handful of earthquakes here prior to today's earthquake activity, uh, including a 3.2 uh, from yesterday. But goodness, look at that. That's quite odd looking. Uh, let me see if these have been reviewed or not, because last time we've seen something of this nature here, a little linear fashion, that was uh, out here across uh, outside of Nevada. And they went and uh, they showed the same thing in terms of the location here, this little linear earthquake sequence, but they adjusted it after a seismologist reviewed it. So could see a similar event uh, because these are look like they're underneath automatic status review, meaning that they have not been reviewed yet. But there is something going on out there. Definitely uh, some earthquake activity across this area of Nevada again all a key indicator of what's going on here across the plate boundary itself and other numerous fault systems here through Southern California indicating a uh, stress event going on here today. So be on guard maybe uh, here today for some larger activity. Uh, so we got about 40 earthquakes here in this sequence of activity outside of the Goldfield, uh, what is it, Goldfield yeah, just the Goldfield Hills. And let me see what we got so far today as far as the largest activity. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be this 2.4 right here. 
which uh, is about four miles or so below the surface. Again, a lot of these look like they are just underneath automatic status review and they could get revised in terms of location, a magnitude, and also the depth there for these uh, earthquakes that are coming in. But hey, definitely got uh, something going on out here today for sure on a, a little bit broader scale. Some movement up into Northern California there as well. This earthquake just went off the hour range here, so it looks like a 2.9, 15 miles deep here, just within the last hour, an hour and a minute, um, at the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone here. So, keeping an eye on California here today. Things have, you know, been a little bit quiet in terms of the recent activity we've seen here over the last, oh, the last three or four weeks with elevated fours and even that five pointer up here outside of Bakersfield. Uh, things look like they're starting to get on a stage of ramping up here again today. So we'll keep an eye on the West Coast for some further movement. North American Pacific Plate Boundary. Uh, got Oklahoma out here stirring up some earthquakes out in the oil fields it looks like today. Texas not so much. A handful of smaller quakes. But really uh, Texas should be seeing some... You know, it's Texas's earthquake country out there in the oil fields, right? We're always seeing earthquake activity. In fact, if you look at the last 30 days of earthquake activity out here, got about 482 earthquakes here of various magnitudes in various locations of oil fields. Um, and that's actually a, that's a minor number. At times here, we can see that number up above 1,000 in a 30-day time period, so... That's a little below average for earthquake activity there out in Texas. Kind of odd to say that, right? Who would have thought Texas be earthquake country, but it is now. 2.2 out in the North Carolina area, out around the uh, Blue Ridge Mountains area. Probably absolutely beautiful out there. As uh, far as worldwide activity goes, folks, um, looking at the globe here, a little bit of adjustment following that 5.1 yesterday. Remember that earthquake there along the Kermadec Trench? A little bit of migration southward here. Actually got some deeper activity and uh, surface adjustment there close to New Zealand with a three-pointer. Uh, but really nothing big coming in yet. Still got to keep an eye on that area for sure. Uh, a pair of deeper quakes here across the area of the plate boundary. These uh, rings indicating some deeper activity uh, in the region. So expect some uptick here across the region here today. Uh, it just always takes place here following the deeper activity. Japan area, seen a 4.1 early this morning, it looks like. That's going to be just off of the, uh, yeah, it looks like maybe underneath the area. Uh, Yamato, Japan area, 4.6 from, uh, that was actually from yesterday. So uh, it looks like maybe there was a newer quake in there, though, as well. Um, let's see. Huh. All right. Uh, Alaska area, fairly quiet up there looking uh, today anyway. A couple older quakes from yesterday. That's going to be these quakes right here. Uh, 4.8 there from yesterday and a couple other smaller ones. Uh, anything else major going on here on the uh, globe? Doesn't look like it. I mean, is this the most recent activity? I guess it is. That's what it shows here. It looks a little empty uh, for earthquake activity, though. Combination of EMSC and also the USGS here. Aside from California, that is. Obviously, we got you know a little bit of uptick and whatnot going on here inland as well. Into the Nevada area. That's a lot of earthquake activity here in a short amount of time period. And um, it looks like it stirred up here. Maybe more intensely around 3 o'clock in the morning. And then a couple hours later, we see earthquake activity here uh, in Bakersfield. And then that 3.3 that was felt down in Southern California here today. So we'll definitely keep an eye on things, folks. Uh, I'll be out here. Live stream is up and running. Uh, Aurora's kicked up last night. Kind of in a big fashion out here. Seen uh, a G2 class storming out there. Unexpected. Unexpected. Uh, wasn't forecasted, but the BZ component there of the interplanetary magnetic field was pointing south, allowing the solar wind stream that was out there to uh, uh, be amplified in a big fashion there. So, seen a lot of posts out there 
of the auroras down into some of the middle latitude states here last night. So pretty cool. I wasn't about ready to get out there last night because we've got a lot of mosquitoes out here in Northern California right now. It's just, it's still hot. I'm going to see probably above 100 degrees again today. It just never ends. I'm hoping that we get uh, some major pattern change out here along the West Coast here soon because I'm done. I am cooked, literally. Uh, no major auroras in the forecast, but again, you know, things could change here uh, depending on the, the factors at play. Uh, no major solar flares here in the last 24 hours. In fact, uh, things are fairly minimal in that department. Although we do have an elevated chance here for some flare activity, it doesn't look like, uh, um, you know, anything's of any noteworthy value. We do have an active region out here on the eastern limb, southeastern limb, just starting to come into view here that looks uh, fairly large. Fairly large active region we'll keep an eye on as it gets a little bit more into a better perspective of viewing. Storm Prediction Center out here today for severe weather. Got uh, some slight risk category out here across the Ohio area and up into the northern plains here. Uh, looks like a tornado threat up there as well across North uh, North Dakota, South Dakota area. Not a big deal, but still might want to be weather aware uh, for that. And also some wind and some large hail potential out there as well. So uh, we'll continue to keep an eye on things here, folks, for the Southern California area. Uh, like I said, live stream went down about 1 o'clock this morning here local time. I had no clue. I, I thought it was up. Got a couple emails there letting me know that it was down. So uh, it is up and running now. And uh, we'll continue to keep an eye on things, folks. See how uh, this activity stirs up in California today. Looks like it's uh, starting to get a little bit active. I guess we'll see what happens. All right. Have a good Wednesday. I got quite a bit of schoolwork here. I got to get uh, caught up on, and we'll catch you guys back out here a little bit later. Stay safe out there.